I've been like pacing back and forth like whether I should tell the story or not. Since it's been a year now, why not? Uh, I've already told uh, like a handful of people. So yeah, here goes. So if any of you guys actually watch my crap, you will all know about the Russian guy. You will all know that I had a crush on this Russian guy at first sight. And I was looking through his picture and I was like, I really like this guy. And eventually my friend introduced me to him. It was like the worst time to introduce him to me because like I had like blonde regrowth and everything. It was really friggin' terrible. Needless to say, he was not interested. Skip two or three months ahead and I have another friend and he gets his number for me again and uh, since the Russian guy realizes I'm a persistent little bastard I was trying to like make him think I was into weed so I asked for his number just by asking him if he had any weed it did not turn out well when you're interested in someone you do not want them to see how stoned you look or you don't want them to Head, you say stupid stuff like in Thailand you bang cock in Soviet Russia cock bang you you know you do not want your crush to hear that especially if he's, uh, especially if he's from Russia um, second time round I was actually really surprised he um, texted me again and it was to hang out like around the monkey like around the monkey mountains like we have a mountain just full of monkeys it's a highway um, we go on a couple of dates fast forward a year later he wants to hang out again and uh, I was this time I wasn't interested in him you know I was just gonna hang out with him he was gonna pick me up from home but what was it I was hiding at the back door I was hiding at the back gate of my house and my cousin happened to see me and so I tried to hide but it's either either I was still busted so not only does she un oh, not only does she lock the back door she unlocks the front oh she locks the front door as well so there was like no way I could like open the door and I was pretty much trapped and just when you thought it couldn't get any worse she called my mum and asked me to come home because I'm sneaking out about 10 or 20 minutes later my grandpa comes out of his room unlocks the door for me 20 minutes later I walk back in because I'm just still embarrassed so what was it? I was gonna wait an extra 20 minutes before I was gonna sneak out to uh, the Russian guy's house again just my luck my mum comes my mum comes home she asks me where my house keys and where my motorcycle keys are so I start bluffing for about half an hour and then I just finally give in because I'm a bad liar I'm just like yeah here are the keys and um 20 minutes before she or half an hour before she came home I hid them underneath just like a dinner tray and I gave them to her and she's just like, she gives me the biggest ear bashing of my friggin life he couldn't find me the first time he uh, was gonna wait for me it was because uh, when we went on our first day I gave him the wrong um, house like what was it I I asked him to drop me like 10 feet away from my house because um, I live in a really shitty house so yeah I, I was kind of like embarrassed I was waiting for my cousin to fall asleep 4 a.m. in the morning she finally goes to sleep I've never ridden an automatic scooter I've only learned how to drive a manual one but it took me half an hour to start um, the motor to start my scooter I had a really really old friggin scooter not only do you have to like start like start the ignition you also have to kick start it at the same time but for like the first 10 minutes all you could hear was chick, 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 was that the neighbours outside were like getting really angry it's like I swear to god if she makes the friggin scooter start one more time I was like so scared I was like oh my god after half an hour I finally got it starting it was like vroom vroom and I was like oh my god what do I do now and like in my head I was thinking well if it's automatic shouldn't you like push the scooter so it automatically runs and but then again I was thinking no 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 I don't want to take my chances like half an hour later I, I just thought, why not? Okay, let's just automatically run this. I don't even care if I crash my scooter. And um, I, I push my scooter and it actually goes. I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, I'm freaking out. And then like for half an hour, I'm just driving around. I finally go to the Russian guy's house. I call him and he doesn't pick up. It's been a year since I went like into his room. So I just I just took a stab in the dark. Like um, I just heard a ringing sound coming from 
like a certain room I knocked on it. Also he opens the door and we're just like smoking weed and we're just smoking and we're listening to his music. Also I'm just asking him like how many subjects he's doing and uh, you know what was it, what's he gonna do when he graduates from what was it, university, all that just casual stuff. And uh, yeah, I was still like hung up about uh, having feelings for friends and this is, this is gonna be like one of the most, one of the most awkward moments of my life. I was just like, hey, if um, if a friend like takes another friend to their favorite place, does it mean they still have, does it mean they have, he has feelings for her? And he says, well, I don't know, um, maybe. I'm like, oh, I was like really gutted because, you know, I was thinking about that friend. And he thought we're, he was, I was talking about us. So yes, it was really awkward when he said, oh, Emma, um, I, I didn't mean to lead you on. I'm like, wait, what? And he, I didn't, I didn't say that. I was just like, and he goes, oh yeah, I didn't mean to lead you on. Um, uh, Cause like by now he has the lights turned down, he has the music up and we're just both lying on his bed, he's topless. And we're just sitting next to each other. He's like, oh, I, I didn't mean to like, you know, lead you on, um, I don't want a relationship, I just want fun, uh, which is like kind of weird because um, a month or two months after he said that to me, he actually got into a serious relationship. Um, <laughs> but yeah, just past the past and um, it, I just found that a little bit funny. He was just like, oh, um, but yeah, like, I just want fun, I mean, like, I wouldn't mind if you want fun as well. And he's like, but yeah, and like, just bottom line, I'm really sorry if I hurt your feelings or if I, if it felt like I led you on because I wasn't. And I was just like, I was thinking in my head, so should I make him look like, keep going and make him look like an ass, or should I just stop him halfway and still make him look like an ass? I'll let him keep talking and make him look like an ass. Like in the end, it was just this really bizarre, awkward silence. And I just said, well, it's very um, considerate of you to put my feelings ahead of your own. I was actually talking about uh, my friend and my other friend and how they had feelings, and I, how I thought they had feelings for each other, which is really weird because I kind of like set them up. And um, he was just like, oh, oh, followed by another awkward silence. He was just like, well, it doesn't matter because um, this friend isn't here now and I am and that friend's all the way back and blah blah blah. He leans in closer. I'm freaking out and I'm just like... Okay, so this has been a fun night. Um, oh, I think it's it's really late. I, I, I should probably go home. And he goes... Oh. Okay, so he turns the lights back on. And uh, he's like, well, there's the door. And I'm like, yeah, thanks. And um, I, was, I was waiting for him to just like walk me out, but he didn't, he was just waiting for me to leave. I'm like, okay, cool. So <laughs> I, was, I leave his house. That's the last time I ever went into his house. Um, this, oh, this must have been like April or something like March. And uh, I walked outside and my motor, my scooter was gone. And I was freaking out. Cause like um, I parked it like 10 or 20 meters away from his house because um, just in case, like he actually did walk me all the way back out to like the motor like my motorcycle. I didn't want to look like an idiot, like like not knowing how to start my own motorcycle or scooter or something like that. So I'm like freaking out, I have no idea where my scooter is. And then I turn around and the security guard that near the other hostel parked my scooter into the car park of the hostel. So I felt like a huge idiot, like Ah, you bitch, he was saying it's like, ah, bitch, you thought it got stolen, didn't you? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and I was thinking in my head, oh, sh now he's going to watch me start my own scooter and I'm going to have no idea how to start it. So, yeah, I start it and su successfully, but it, like, it keeps going. And I go back to my house, I park my scooter, I open my front door, and it's locked. My grandpa locked our door even though I left it open before I left. So I'm waiting outside for two hours. He wakes up at seven o'clock in the morning. He um, notices that I'm outside. He's like, what are you doing? I was like, oh, I was just uh, just taking a walk on the beach. <laughs> yeah, he didn't believe me. 
and uh, I went into my room. That was the last time I ever snuck out. That was the last time. That was, I've got to say, that was the most bizarre, bizarrest adventure of my year. Thanks for listening to my crazy story, and um, this concludes my ending. Okay, see ya.